Satellite. We're here at Satellite 2014. With me is Russell Schaller, president of Teledyne Microwave Solutions. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm good. Can't complain. It's good to be here in D.C. Nice sunny weather and uh, great show so far. All right. Glad to hear. So Teledyne Microwave Solutions has gone through a number of recent acquisitions, uh, the last one being Paradise Datacom. Can you tell me a little bit about how the company is expanding its reach? Yes, yeah, certainly. For about the last half dozen years, we've had this vision of creating complete end-to-end uh, capability to provide microwave communications and microwave products, and Paradise Datacom was kind of the last piece to that puzzle. So um, you know, right now, we have a, a very wide breadth of capabilities to enable microwave communications, um, everything from uh, PCB substrates for antennas to uh, TWTs to small functional functional components like mixers and oscillators, all the way through fully integrated products like TWTAs and modems and, and um, complete uh, data links. So the, the, the goal behind all of this is so that we're essentially a one-stop shop, so that we can work with some of the large OEMs and provide a complete link and a complete link package and understand all the trades of the different pieces of hardware. All right. So the QFlex modem and the QNet broadband manager have been some talking points at the show. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about how these devices are distinguished, distinguish, excuse me, distinguishing themselves from others? Yeah, that's that also is a very recent launch for us. It's only been out for the last few months. Um, you know, at its heart, we wanted to start this development process, which has really been ongoing for the last several years, of making sure that we had a flexible modem platform. And you know, our modem is, of course, it's a hardware-based modem, but, but the real functionality and our ability to configure it for our customers is all software-defined. So it's, it's a, essentially a software-defined modem. You know, it allows uh, greater bandwidth utilization. It has a number of features that, you know, reduce the cost of ownership and, and increase the data throughput. Um, you know, we believe we have essentially an unequaled product in terms of bandwidth capability at, at this price performance level. Uh, the second big feature that um, you know, we particularly like about this modem is we have remote monitoring of the link and the link performance so that, you know, we can real-time assess the telecommunications link between, you know, with our customer system so that they can, if there's a problem or they're not getting the bandwidth capabilities that they expected, you know, we can assess and help troubleshoot it real-time uh, from our remote monitoring stations. Um, but, you know, more to the point, you know, for some of the emerging cellular backhaul markets and what have you, you know, we've seen some of our customers replace uh, legacy products and seen ROIs that are, you know, measured in months because of the improved bandwidth sufficiency and the improved link performance and uh, and uptime. You know, so all of those things help to uh, to make the product um, just a, a very very cornerstone to the Teledyne Microwave Solutions offering. Tell me about how Teledyne is focusing on the dynamic satcom on the move market. Yeah, so that's an outgrowth. You know, traditionally a lot of our products were aimed at the military and military communications, particularly post Gulf War. Um, you know, as we've kind of evolved along with the rest of the industry into some of the more commercial areas and commercial markets, you know, we're doing an awful lot to support uh, commercial mobile communications and fixed terminals. Um, you know, one of the advantages of our heritage and kind of our vertical integration is you know, we have a complete set of solutions and building blocks that we can configure to make a, uh, a, a link. You know, so for instance, uh, recently we're working on a K band uh, module for an avionics application. If we'd had to build that from scratch, it would have taken years. But because we have all the individual building blocks, we're able to assemble that relatively quickly, and we're actually moving to our strat certification within weeks rather than the typical development process that would take uh, several months. So, um, you know, for us, it's all about having a customized solution that we can, you know, quickly tailor to our customers' needs. All right. So, Teledyne's real strength, or main strength, I should say, lies in the amplifier business. Can yeah. you give us an update? Yeah, absolutely. So, that's, you know, that is our real heritage is uh, amplifier and amplifier technology. And, and that stretches back 40 years. You know, we have a very large presence in California, both in the Sacramento region and in the Bay Area, um, it, with amplifiers, you know, dating back, again, 40 years. You know, and with each year, we continue to upgrade 
related are probably our, our two most recent products have been um, uh, K-band amplifier at 16 watts for, again, airborne communications applications and a 500-watt TWTA for a ground uh, terminal. But, you know, all of these products really rely on our vertical integration and our ability to continue to, uh, to improve our uh, overall performance and reduce, you know, size, weight, and cost in, uh, in an optimal package. Lastly, can you tell me about some of the things Teledyne has been doing to improve the company's space heritage? Yeah, you know, and again, we have a very long track record, and, and we're on, uh, at this point, hundreds of different satellites. Um, you know, we really want to be able to do end-to-end -end link capability, and, you know, so if you look at the Paradise and the ground terminals through some of the avionics and SATCOM on the move terminals that are provided by some of our other businesses, as well as uh, the old Cougar business that was part of the acquisition process, which has been on satellite. You know, we've got a complete end-to-end -end portion, and, and you know, we've always had amplifiers, LNAs, uh, relatively small level boxes on satellites. Uh, again, for many decades. More recently, um, some of our customers have asked us to have higher levels of integration. You know, we're going to be coming out in the next few months with some uh, larger boxes that incorporate you know, many of the features that we do for ground-based systems now, but now will be space-qualified and, uh, and manufactured uh, in the U.S. in our uh, space uh, manufacturing center in Sunnyvale. All right, well, thank you, Russell, for your time. I appreciate your time. And, and enjoy uh, the rest of Satellite 2014. That's right. I hope you have a good day, too. All right. Appreciate